Hello from Ontario, and more specifically, Rouge National Urban Park. It is December 27th today, and I'm gonna show you around Rouge National Urban Park, Mass Trailhead specifically, in the winter. Because although I've been here in the winter multiple times, I've never actually brought a camera with me. So I thought I would film a little video here and just show you what it's like in the winter. minus three degrees. I'm on these stairs, which I always get winded on. But it is so pretty. Park is actually the first of its kind in Canada. It is the first national urban park and it's actually been quite a success. So I know Parks Canada is going to be making I think five to ten more in the upcoming years. Like maybe five in the next ten years or something. I'll write down what it is but I'm super excited because I know there's going to be one in Alberta which will be nice when I'm there. Maybe I'll drive up one day to Edmonton whenever it's created and we'll explore that too. I think there's gonna be one in Windsor and I think there's a few other cities that have been decided but I'm not sure what they are off the top of my head. I'll write them down. <laughs> So far on this walk, I will say the smell of the trees has been kind of like there. Normally, well in the fall you smell the leaves, and right now you can kind of smell the evergreen trees. I'm coming to the end of the um, treed area of the Mass Trail. It's very slippery, <laughs> but I'm kind of getting to the grassy area, which means I think it's almost done and then I'm gonna go up where I've been before when I come back because I don't feel like doing the exact same there and back this time. sunlight so nothing to warm me up. Today I really felt like I needed some time alone 
And this is like one of my favorite spots to come when I need alone time. I find that just being home when there's a lot of people around or just when life picks up and is stressful, I really like to come out, go on a walk or a hike, just listen to the sounds like today. I stood by the river, you could just hear it underneath the frozen or between the frozen cracks, you could see it running or just like when the leaves are rustling in the wind. And just walking around really calms me down. And I like when I can find spaces like this alone where I can kind of just be here for 10 minutes. And there's just a lot less commotion and stress from everyday life. So it's kind of why I love coming here. So I am getting cold now, so it is time to make it back to the car and finish up my alone time in the warmth of a vehicle and not freezing out here. I'm gonna walk down this now. It's steeper than it looks on here. I think is the most pretty right now in this park is one the sun just kind of it gives a warm glow on everything right now because it's a little before sunset but also the warm colors of the dead leaves on the ground the needles and also from the dead trees bark and the inner part just kind of crumbling For a place that is so cool toned right now from the snow, the sky, and the trees themselves, those little pops of warm colors are just stunning. There's a fallen tree behind me. I'm gonna put my camera down just to show how big it is. It's wild! That should show it. I'm five foot three for reference, so that's huge. That tree fallen is massive as well. There's actually quite a lot of these fallen trees.
I'm here at the end of the trail on the bridge over the Rouge River. Honestly, this was a very well needed walk. I'm so happy I came out. Beautiful conditions today. The weather was quite warm. I mean, for winter. Enough to walk in. I'm gonna get back into the car now and drive home. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and wanna see more videos of me exploring parks and other travel in the future. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.